Hey everyone, welcome. If you're looking to master Python programming, you're in the right place. This video series is all you need to go from the basics to advanced concepts step by step in a structured and easy to follow way. Python is one of the most in demand programming languages today, and this course is designed to help you master it no matter where you're starting from. If you're a university student with Python in your curriculum, this course covers everything you need, from variables and loops to object-oriented programming, helping you ace your exams and build real-world coding skills. If you're a fresher in IT, Python is almost a must-have skill. Whether you're preparing for interviews or looking to expand your career opportunities, this course will help you meet industry expectations. And if you're switching to data science, AI, or even generative AI, Python is the foundation you need. This course will strengthen your programming skills so you can confidently step into these cutting edge fields. Python is one of the most popular programming languages, and for good reason. First, it's beginner friendly. Python is simple, easy to read, and has a clean syntax. This makes it an excellent choice if you're just starting your programming journey. Second, Python is versatile and widely used. It's everywhere. From web development to artificial intelligence, data science, and automation, Python powers some of the most innovative technologies in the world. Python is interactive and fun. With its interactive shell, you can quickly write code and see the results instantly, making learning both engaging and efficient. No matter your background or goals, learning Python opens up a world of opportunities. So let's dive in and explore Python together. We'll start by getting Python up and running, making sure you're all set to code confidently and which IDE to use. If you're new to Python or just need a refresher, this is your perfect launchpad. Then we'll break down the basics and fundamentals, variables, data types, and functions. These are the building blocks of everything you'll write in Python. Next up, we'll tackle control flow, learning how to make your code think and make decisions using if statements, loops, Boolean logic, and comparison operators. This is where your programs start to get really dynamic. We'll also explore exception handling, so you'll know how to deal with errors gracefully and keep your programs running smoothly. Then we will focus on some key data types like integers, floats, and other number handling techniques. We will also look into mastering strings and string manipulation, which is crucial in Python programming. Once that's in place, We'll unlock the power of data structures like lists, tuples, and sets, essential tools for organizing and managing data efficiently. You'll also learn how to work with dictionaries and its methods for speed and control. Then comes object-oriented programming, where we work with classes, objects, and attributes to write clean, reusable, and powerful code. We'll explore operator overloading, polymorphism, type-based dispatch, File handling is another crucial skill, so we'll dive into working with different file formats like Excel, PDF, and Word. You'll master reading, writing, and organizing files using OS library, learning package management with PIP, Pandas data frames, rejects, and more. All right, now that we know what Python is and why we need it, let's go step by step to set it up on your computer. It's a simple process, and I'll guide you through each step. Step one, go to python.org and download the latest version of Python. Be sure to choose the version that matches your operating system, Windows, Mac, or Linux. Step two, during installation, make sure to check the box that says, add Python to your path. This will make it easier to run Python from the command line. Step three, next, install pip, Python's package manager. If it's not installed automatically, Download getpip.pi. Step 4. Once pip is installed, add the PIP scripts directory to your system path. This allows you to use pip commands from anywhere in your terminal or command prompt. Step 5. Now, let's set up an editor. I recommend Visual Studio Code or VS Code. It's lightweight, powerful, and great for Python development. Just go to the VS Code website, download it, and follow the installation instructions. Step 6. With Python and pip ready, let's install Jupyter Notebook using the command. pip install Jupyter. Jupyter is fantastic for interactive coding, testing, 
and sharing notebooks. Step 7. To launch Jupyter Notebook, simply type Jupyter Notebook. This will open Jupyter in your web browser, ready to use. Bonus step. If you want an all-in-one data science toolkit, you can optionally install Anaconda. It comes with Python, Jupyter, and many useful libraries pre-installed, making package and environment management easier. And that's it. You're now ready to start coding in Python. Now that we have Python and Jupyter Notebook set up, it's time to write your first Python program. Let's go step by step. Step 1. Open your command line or terminal and type Jupyter Notebook. This command will launch the Jupyter Notebook dashboard in your default web browser. Step 2. In the dashboard, click on New and create a new Python 3 notebook. Name it Hello World, type PPNB so it's easy to find later. Step 3. In the first cell of your new notebook, type out your first program, print Hello World. Step 4. Run the cell by clicking the Run button at the top or pressing Shift plus Enter. This will execute your code. Step 5. You should see the output. Hello World displayed right below the cell. Congratulations, you've just written and run your first Python program. Now, take a moment to explore the different menu options and toolbar items in Jupyter Notebook. Familiarizing yourself with these will help you work more efficiently as we move forward. Here's a quick exercise for you. Create a new notebook and write a program that outputs Welcome to Python Programming. This will reinforce what we just learned and get you comfortable with writing simple code. By following these steps, you're well on your way to mastering Python in a fun and interactive way. All right, now that we've covered basic output, let's move on to taking input from users and making our programs interactive. Let's move forward and learn how to take input from users to make our Python programs more dynamic. We'll break down the steps to create a program that asks for a user's name and greets them. Step 1. Open Jupyter Notebook as we did in previous lessons. Step 2. Create a new notebook and name it hellou.ipynb. This will be the file where we write our code to take user input. Step 3. Now let's write the code step by step in the first cell. Print what is your name? Name equals input. Print hello plus name. Step 4. Run the cell by pressing Shift plus Enter or clicking the Run button. This will execute your code and prompt the user for their name. Once the user enters their name, they will receive a personalized greeting, making the interaction dynamic and engaging. Thank you for watching CTOX. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help others learn the concepts. We would love to bring you more valuable content on cutting edge technologies. At CTOX, we explore the latest in technology, from Python and data science to generative AI, large language models, quantum computing, and beyond. Whether you're a beginner or a tech enthusiast, there's always something new to learn. Stay curious, keep innovating, and we'll see you in the next one. I don't ever slow.